Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about Roho cushions and what to do when you have a hole in the cushion. If you don't have a Roho cushion, you'll know. And in that case, you don't really have to watch this video. If you do have a Roho cushion, these cushions are air filled and they're a bunch of little pods. They have different models, whatever. I don't really know the one that I have, but it has four quadrants. I think it's called like the Quattro something. And first, uh, let's just look at the cushion, see what it is. It is dirty. Rojo cushion, this is the cover that you get. Machine washable, that's what I do when I need to wash my cushion. But this is what it looks like here. A bunch of these little air pods and, and they are sectioned off into quadrants, four sections. They can get holes. I've had quite a few holes in to where I, I know now almost exactly where to look every time I get a hole. Luckily, there's usually a warranty with these. So uh, we're just gonna go through the whole process of getting a hole in the Rojo cushion and what you can do for fixing it. Okay, you get a hole. Oh shit, oops, you get a hole. Not good. What's the first thing you do? First thing you should do is get out of the chair if possible and fill it up again with air. You wanna make sure that you take a mental note or maybe even on paper, which quadrant it is that loses air. Usually it'll be just one. If it's more than one, that could mean that there's a larger issue or two holes. Because each quadrant is has its own air, like they're not, they are connected, but you lock the airflow between each quadrant. So that way, if a hole does happen, it will only affect one quadrant. So the first thing you should do is blow it back up and just kind of see how long it takes for the air to come back out. If it's a really fast, if the air comes out really fast then you have a pretty big hole, if the air comes out really slow, that means you have a smaller hole, it'll be harder to find, but also that gives you a little bit more time to kind of finish what you were doing and then fix the hole later. So step one is you take off the cushion and then under the cushion, you don't need to focus, I don't think you should see this, I don't know, it's private information, but you'll have a sticker that will show um, the model of the cushion and the, the lot number, uh, just a bunch of information about the cushion itself. And it's very specific to every cushion that you have. And what you can do is you take a picture of this email. The email is, I forget, it's like Rojo warranty at roho.com or something. I'll, we'll put it on the screen. You email them, take a picture of this cushion sticker and just say, Hey, I have a hole in my cushion. Is my cushion under warranty? If so, can you please send me a new one? And what they do is they'll send you a new, a new cushion. And then in that same box, you put your old cushion and send it back to them and they fix it or they do whatever. So that's step one. Whenever you get a hole, always, always do the warranty. But in the meantime, while you're waiting for the new shipment to come in, or if there is none, you want to patch your hole. How do we find a hole in these Rojo cushions? It can be pretty difficult. The first thing is, of course, making sure that you know which quadrant the hole is in. Once you've done that, you can fill up the Rojo with a lot of air fill it up almost too much and make sure that you fill up the quadrant with the hole in it. Make sure you fill that up with a lot of air. And then what you'll do is you'll, you can look very closely or you can kind of just graze your face across the quadrant. And what you hopefully will feel is a little bit of air blowing at you. This is what I've done for, I mean, I've gotten more than 10 holes in the past couple of years. And this is what I do every time it works. Some people put their cushion in water I don't do that, it's too messy. And I did, so I did it once and it didn't even work. So I don't do that. You can though, if it works for you, do that, put it in water, put soap on it. Some people put soap so they can see the bubbles more. But what I'll do is I'll put my face really close and I'll feel the air because your face is a little bit more sensitive skin compared to your hands or something. And even your lips or your eyeball, right? So you can put your eye kind of very close to each one and then you'll feel the air blowing on your eye. And then once you can locate it, you found it, and then you get a little patch, we'll put a picture. Usually when you get a Rojo cushion, you get, it's called like a type B patch. Whatever patch works, patch it up, and it should be good for a long time until the next hole. So that's what I do. Another thing is that these cushions, so because the quadrants are connected, but you can lock the connection, the back two quadrants have this, they, they have this tube here that comes up and around and connects to this, which locks the airflow. This little corner right here, when you're doing transfers, 
and if you put your hand somewhere like on the chair where the corner of the cushion is, it'll create a lot of like just a lot of disturbance with your hand going there. And so I've had quite a few holes here. So I almost automatically will just put a patch there, even if there's no hole, just as a safeguard. So those are so these two are very common places for a hole to be. Another common place that I found is in the back section, like these back two rows here. So this is so this is the back, the full back of the chair, like that. So these back two rows, I get a lot of holes. And another thing that you can look for, and we'll put a picture right now, of creases. So you can get a magnifying glass, use your phone flashlight, look really close if you're myopic, myoptic, and you'll see a little crease, a little crease in the cushion. And if you pinch that crease, if you give it a little pinch, you'll see the hole. And I don't know exactly what is happening here, but it's some way that I'm sitting, because this happens to me a lot, that the crease will just happen and then you can see a hole there. So look for creases, look at the top of the pods and look in these corners. That's everything you need to know.